What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some of the changes coming to Battlefield 2042 since the beta. Uh, some of the community managers, uh, some of the developers of the game have been talking about changes uh, with the community on Twitter, on Reddit, and some other social media websites. I'm assuming we'll probably get an official list from EA and DICE at some point in the coming weeks before the game is released. But the community manager and, of course, the developers have clarified a lot of things. They did say some of the stuff that we talked about in the beta or the community were kind of concerned about in the beta had already been fixed. But, of course, the version that we got to play was old, so those things were not in that updated, you know, it, that beta was not in the updated state. But there were some things that they said that the community was concerned about that they will be changing before the game releases. So we'll probably get a day one patch, you know, kind of like we do with every game nowadays. So the first thing they talked about was the amount of tanks. Uh, they said a lot of the community saw, thought that the amount of tanks was way too small for the 128 player lobby. So that's new gen and PC lobbies. So they will be upping the tank amount to eight tanks total, four tanks on each side. They just kind of specified this for the orbital map. I'm not sure if they're planning on doing this on every map or if the other maps already had eight tanks, uh, you know, in general, because some of those maps are pretty large. So maybe they just decided for these smaller or medium sized maps that we're going to go ahead and do the eight tanks as well. So those bigger maps may have eight plus tanks, but they did say that they're working on the tank and vehicle count. So in the future, after the game is released, we may see this, you know, added to or, you know, taken away from depending on how they feel about how it's, it's affecting gameplay. They may also add things like helicopters and planes. They seem to be pretty open uh, to discussing the amount of vehicles that are in the game in general. Another thing they talked about was for the old gen lobby, so Xbox One and PS4, the 64 player lobbies, they will only have four tanks total, so two on each side. And they also said the maps will be scaled down uh, compared to the 128 player lobbies. This was one of my concerns because in past games like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 on console, because I played those on console, um, there was an issue that there was only 24 players on each team. And so the maps felt way too big at times. They're actually going to scale these maps down so it's better for old gen players, uh, you know, for that 64 player lobby. So it just doesn't really feel like you're in no man's land all the time. But the tank count will not change. That will stay to four tanks, like I said, two on each side. Another thing they talked about was ledge grabbing. It was not actually in the beta, but they said ledge grabbing is in the game. So kind of a thing that we saw in some of the past Battlefield games like Battlefield 5. I can't remember if ledge grabbing was in Battlefield 1 or not. It may have been. But they said it will be a little bit more of an advanced system that you'll actually be able to grab ledges above your head now, but they have worked it out so it's not going to be something where you can just, you know, ledge grab and move around the map in ways you're not supposed to, but ledge grabbing will be back. And vaulting over moving objects. They said that was not in the beta either, but it will be in the game as well. The reason it was not in the beta, they said it wasn't really necessary on the orbital map, but some of the other maps in game actually have several parts of the map where vaulting over objects is definitely needed so they said that will be a part of the game that we did not see in the beta as well another thing they're talking about is adding in directional movement when sliding they said it will not be as strong as it was in some of the past battlefield games like battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 but you will have that ability to change your direction when sliding just slightly so once you slide you will be able to go left or right uh, in the beta, we were only able to go pretty much straight forward when you started to slide, but they're going to add a slight movement increase to your left or your right. I'm thinking this is probably mainly just for getting behind cover or whatever the case may be. Hopefully, it won't be too strong. I'm sure some of these sliding mechanics will still be getting adjusted once the game is released. Uh, another thing they talked about was reducing the FOV change when you are sliding. I think most of us probably re realized uh, in the beta, I know I did at least on PS5, once you started to slide, it seemed like it widens your FOV and it seemed like you're moving extremely fast compared to what your sensitivity setting, uh, settings were kind of set at. They said they're adjusting that to make it feel like, you know, what your sensitivity and FO, FOV actually is to make it feel like you're not actually moving faster than you are. So that's going to be reduced. Also, they said they're going to fix the jump spamming. A lot of people were complaining about, you know, kind of money hopping. That's been a thing that's been in video games, especially shooters for a long time, mainly Call of Duty. But there's a lot of bunny hopping going on. They said they have fixed that so you cannot jump spam as much. Also, sprint speed. Uh, they talked about this a little bit. Sprint speed in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 is the same as Battlefield 2042. I think Battlefield 1 and, and Battlefield 5, considering we don't get Battlefield games that often, those sprint speeds were a lot slower. So people were thinking that the sprint speed in 2042 
was a lot faster than any other Battlefield game. But they said actually it is the same as Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. The only time it is a bit faster is when you're in that tactical sprint, you know, when you're running and your gun actually comes up. They said that is a bit faster than Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. But for the most part, pretty much across the board, uh, the sprint speed is the same as Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 was. And I thought the movement, in my opinion, uh, the pace of the game was good considering how big the map was. And by DICE saying that Orbital is a medium-sized map, it makes me think uh, that we'll be thankful for that tactical sprint on uh, those even bigger map, uh, bigger maps where we're having to cover a lot more ground. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, whenever DICE and EA give us an official list of everything they're changing uh, for the beta, I will, of course, bring you guys a video about that. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Think, uh, let me know what you think about the tanks, the movement, all that good stuff. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.